lipoma or this is something outside. Well, if you look at the layer, in this case, there's a big lesion, and this is continuous with the second black layer. So this is originating from the muscularis proprio layer. By that, we can be confident that this is a gist. But at the same time, to determine if this is malignant before putting a needle in, we can look at the properties. In this case, um, just a short video showing you, you what we do see during the endoscopic evaluation. The size of the lesion, presence of the margins that are irregular, cystic spaces, size, would tell us if this is probably a malignant potential high or malignant potential low. And you can see here how we have this lesion that is completely continuous with the muscularis layer. So this is a uh, diagnosis of GIST and some features on EUS to help you determine if this GIST has a high malignant potential or low malignant potential. Moving to the pancreas, again, accuracy for EUS is very high for the T stage in the order of 90% and stage lower, but this changed with the introduction, obviously, of the EUS with FNA capability. It is, sensitivity is better than um, uh, ultrasound, CT, ERCT, specifically when it comes to small lesions. And it does have a very nice predictive value for determining vascular invasion, specifically the portal vein, as you're going to be seeing in some of the um, cases in the workshop. Again, small cali caliber of the ultrasound probe would let you go inside strictures, inside the pancreatic duct. In this case, it's convenient. It can be done to in, uh, during the same endoscopic event. Would provide you with uh, also uh, the ability to pass the needle under direct ultrasound guidance to get samples from lymph nodes. It does provide some um, Doppler capability. You can differentiate a vessel from a node or something different, um, a different structure or uh, a duct, Just for easy. example. If you put a needle in it, specifically if we use the true cut uh, needles that are big, not only can you provide a sample, but you can provide a sample that you can uh, perform immunohistochemical stage, uh, staining that would be very accurate and comparable to surgical specimen in determining the uh, CKIT, CD34 staining, even proliferation indices like the MIB1 and the, and the KI67. So this is a completely um, and categorical. And to differentiate these lesions, you might need to aspirate the sample and send it for cytology, chemical measurements, including amylase and tumor markers. And many studies, especially by the Brugge group in Boston, showed that when you do that, you'll be able to reach variation uh, regarding the nature of the cyst, be it a serious lesion, be it um, 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 mucinous adenoma slash mucinous adenocarcinoma, or if it's a purely um, uh, just a pancreatic pseudocyst. Uh, this is an example of a small um, uh, lesion that ended up being diagnosed as mucinous cyst adenoma. And you can see the needle being pushed inside this small lesion, two centimeters, and then the amount inside it, the muc mucinous amount, which can be drained, will be drained using this needle aspiration technique. And you can see that the um, amount is getting less and less ins inside the cavity and it's obliterated at the um, end. And the this would be an introduction to the procedures you'll be seeing in this workshop. And EUS, in conclusion, has achieved an irreplaceable position in the staging of GI malignancy, specifically the local regional staging. Many probes, the tiny probes, ultrasound probes, will help overcome some of the dilemmas limiting the use of EUS, specifically when it comes to stenotic lesions that cannot be bypassed. EUS FNA markedly improves the diagnostic yield, open therapeutic potentials, as you've seen with the fine needle injection, not only diagnosis, but also therapeutic injections. And finally, it will probably be increasingly used in the future for invasive and therapeutic options. By that, I thank you very much for your attention.